everyone today we are going to start a quick review about excretory system the major nitrogenous waste are ammonia urea and uric acid the most toxic form of nitrogenous waste is ammonia and the nitrogenous waste which requires maximum amount of water is ammonia the least toxic least toxic nitrogenous waste is uric acid and the nitrogenous waste which requires a minimum amount of water for excretion is uric acid the process of excreting out ammonia is ammonotelism and the animal which are ammonotelism is bony fish aquatic amphibians and aquatic insects the ammonia is excreted by simple diffusion and the nitrogenous waste which it does not require kidney for its excretion is ammonia animal which excrete urea as a nitrogenous waste are uricotelic and the uricotelic animals are mammals terrestrial animals and marine fish the organ which converts ammonia into into urea is liver the function of urea in the kidney is to maintain osmolarity of medullary fluid the animal which excrete uric acid as a nitrogenous waste are called as uricotelic and the uricotelic animals are reptiles birds land snails and insects now about the excretory organs present in animal kingdom protonephridia protonephridia are present in platyhelminthes that is flatworm example is planaria rotifers some annelids and cephalocordate that is amphioxus protonephridia are also called as flame cells the primary function of protonephridia is osmoregulation that is ion and fluid regulation the nephridia protonephridia is present in platyhelminthes nephridia are present in earthworm the malpighian tubules are present in insects that is cockroach the antenatal glands are present in crustaceans like prawns the antenatal glands are also called as green glands now about the kidney the location of kidney is last thoracic vertebrae and third lumbar vertebrae the dimension of kidney is length is 10 to 12 cm the breadth is half breadth is half that is 5 to 7 cm and width is again half that is 2 to 3 cm the cortex which extend in between the medullary pyramid is called as column of bertini and the functional unit of kidney is nephron it, this is the most important point that is the functional unit of kidney is nephron each nephron has one million kidney and the human body has two million nephron because because it has two kidney it has two kidney bubble well, wall cup like structure of nephron is called as bowman's capsule and the malpighian body is bowman's capsule plus glomerulus glomerulus is a tuft of capillary present in bowman's capsule the renal corpuscles is also called as bowman's malpighian body the part of nephron which is situated in cortex is malpighian corpuscles that is glomerulus and bowman's capsule pct that is proximal convoluted tubule and dct that is distal convoluted tubule which part of nephron is situated in medulla in medulla the loop of henle and collecting duct is present the nephron which is short loop of henle are called as cortical nephrons and the nephrons which has long loop of henle are called as juxtra medullary nephrons the types of nephrons which are more in number is cortical nephron 85% 85% of nephrons are cortical nephrons and 15% of nephrons are juxtra medullary nephrons the urine is formed by the three process that is glomerular filtration reabsorption and secretion blood received by the kidney is one fifth of the cardiac output that is 1100 to 1200 ml the epithelium of the bowman's capsule is made up of podocytes and the component of blood which is passed during ultrafiltration is all the component of plasma except protein or all the component of blood except cells and protein 
these cells are rbc that is red blood cells and wbc that is white blood cells amount of filtrate formed by the kidney is called as gfr that is glomerular filtration rate and the gfr is 125 ml per minute to 180 liter per day jc cell is formed by dct and afferent arteriole it is not efferent arteriole be careful about it that it is not efferent it is not efferent it is afferent arteriole renin is secreted by renin is secreted by jc cell how much reabsorption is done by nephron it is 99 percent reabsorption is both active and passive process the substance which is absorbed by the active process are the substance which are essential for our body that is glucose amino acid and sodium these all are absorbed actively the nitrogenous waste that is urea is absorbed by passive process in collecting tubule in collecting tubule the water reabsorption is initial segment it is passive process and in distal convoluted tubule it is active process tubular cells secrete hydrogen ions potassium ion and ammonium ammonia what is the function of tubular secretion is iron and acid base balance of the body fluid pct is lined by pct is pct is lined by simple cuboidal brush border epithelium what is absorbed in pct all the essential elements 70 to 80 percent of electrolyte 70 to 80 percent of water and selective absorption of bicarbonates what is secreted by pct what is secreted by pct that is hydrogen ion potassium ion and ammonium ion and all these are selectively secreted what is the function of pct is ph and ionic balance of the fluid part of nephron which has minimum absorption is loop of henle what is the function of loop of henle is maintenance of high osmolarity of medullary interstitium descending loop of henle is permeable to water and impermeable to electrolyte and ascending loop of henle is permeable to electrolyte and impermeable to water if this is a loop of henle this is descending loop of henle this is descending loop of henle and this from there water can come out and from there electrolyte can come out electrolyte cannot come out from the descending loop and water cannot come out from the ascending loop this is descending loop and this this is descending loop and this is ascending loop of henle the function of dct next is the function of dct is conditional reabsorption of sodium water and bicarbonate and selective secretion of hydrogen ion and potassium ion not ammonia function of collecting duct the function of collecting duct is conditional reabsorption of water and selective secretion of hydrogen ion and potassium ion where the absorption of urea take place it takes place in collecting duct and the absorption of urea absorption of urea is passive process that is it does not require energy or atp for its absorption the function of collecting duct is ph and ionic balance of the body so we can see that every part of nephrons its main function is ph and ionic balance of the blood what is the main function of loop of henle and vasa recta is to produce concentrated urine the counter current mechanism is formed by loop of henle and vasa recta if this is a loop of henle if this is a loop of henle that is an the vasa recta is the blood vessels around it it is also in a form of loop of henle it is and you can see these will form the counter current mechanism what next is what is the medullary osmolarity that is 1200 milli osmol that is here it is 1200 milli osmol per liter and medullary gradient is formed by medullary gradient is formed by nacl and urea what is the function of medullary gradient is passive absorption of water due to this 1200 milli osmol gradient the water can be absorbed easily from here passively 
and it does not require energy from descending loop of henle it can be easily absorbed how many times a urine can be concentrated than initial filtrate that it is four times the function of kidney is regulated by hypothalamus g c apparatus and heart the importance is that the, uh, about uh, ads there are two points and there are two types of question where the adh is formed and the where adh is from where adh is secreted and let's see first that adh is formed in hypothalamus which is excreted by pituitary so where the adh is formed if the options are hypothalamus and pituitary then our answer will be hypothalamus because it is actually formed in the hypothalamus but if the option is only pituitary and it does not have hypothalamus so our answer will be pituitary explanation actually adh is formed in the hypothalamus adh is formed in the hypothalamus but is stored and secreted by pituitary is stored in the pituitary secreted by pituitary so there are three question where the adh is formed in the hypothalamus where the adh is stored in the pituitary from where adh is secreted it is from pituitary so our next point is adh is secreted by pituitary adh is formed in hypothalamus is stored and secreted by pituitary another name for adh is vasopressin because it presses the blood vessels adh prevents diuresis what is diuresis diuresis is passing out uh, passing out urine uh, diluted urine and which contain uh, which contain more water is diuresis so adh causes absorption of water from the urine and it prevents diuresis what is the function of adh first function of adh is absorption of water from later part of nephron that is dct and collecting tubule that is ct collecting tubule and the second function about its name that is vasopressin that is constriction of blood vessels and due to constriction of blood vessels it will cause increase in bp renin is secreted by juxta glomerular apparatus in that jc cell the function of renin is to convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 actually uh, angiotensinogen angiotensinogen is converted into angiotensin 1 by renin by renin and which is converted into angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme and this angiotensin 2 is active form and it will produce effect so what is the function of next point is what is the function of angiotensin 2 it is powerful vasoconstriction which will cause increase in bp which will in increase in bp will cause increase in pressure which will cause increase in gfr it also activates adrenal cortex and release of aldosterone so what is the function of aldosterone it is a reabsorption of sodium and water from distal convoluted tubule at atrial natriuretic factor anf is secreted from heart that is atria and the function of anf anf is vasodilation and the release of blood pressure which mechanism check the renin angiotensin system is anf mechanism because these both system work antagonistically that is in opposite direction renin angiotensin system this system renin angiotensin system will increase bp vasoconstriction it will cause vasoconstriction and increase bp and this will cause vasodilation and cause a decrease in bp next is what is mixturation the process of release of urine is mixturation if we analyze the urine so it is 1 to 1.5 liter per day slightly yellowy in color slightly acidic and the ph is 6 how much urea it is not urine urine is 1 to 1.5 liter it is urea how much urea is excreted out per day it is 25 to 30 g per day what is glucose urea glycosuria that is presence of glucose in urine what is ketone urea 
it is presence of ketone body in urine and the diabetes mellitus is a disease in which glucose and ketone bodies are present in our urine and the diabetes mellitus in hindi we call this madume and in common language we call it sugar organ which help in excretions are kidney lungs and skin kidney help in the removal of nitrogenous waste lungs co2 and skin as a sweat so lung excrete co2 and water vapors how much co2 is excreted per day that is 180 liter per day largest gland of the body is liver liver secretes bilirubin biliverdin cholesterol degraded steroidal hormones vitamins and the drugs the sweat contain water nacl urea and lactic acid so two question can be found by the sweat what is the primary function of sweat primary function is only one that is facilitating cooling effect of the body but if the function of sweat is asked then the cooling effect on the body and the removal of waste product these are two different question which can be formed from the sweat next is sebaceous gland secrete sebum sebum contain esterols hydrocarbons and wax the protective it is a protective oiling covering protective oily covering on the skin is sebum important that is saliva also contain urea so question is does the saliva contain urea it is yes a small amount of urea is excreted by saliva too now the most important question which organs help in excretion of urea kidney sweat saliva the answer is all of the above because sweats also excrete urea kidney is the major function of kidney is excretion of urea only and the saliva also can also secretes urea in a very small amount uremia is accumulation of urea in the blood actually emia is used for blood emia is used for blood therefore accumulation of urea in blood is uremia which anticoagulant it is anticoagulants anticoagulants are the sub substance which help in preventing the coagulation of blood which anticoagulant is used during hemodialysis it is heparin what is the treatment of kidney failure it is kidney transplant renal calculus calculi is actually used for a stone is a stone formed in the kidney these stones mainly contain oxalate glomerulonephritis is inflammation of the glomeruli of the kidney itis that is itis is used itis is used for inflammation itis is used for inflammation so glomerulonephritis is inflammation of glomeruli of kidney for latest update please subscribe and do not forget to comment and share thank you